Hello, everybody. Hi. It's Thursday, April 1st. Hmm, April 1st. <laughs> It's a new month. Let's begin our time with prayer. God, thank you for this new month again. Thank you for having us, giving us this time so that we can have your word in us, so that we would learn and hear from you. As we read and meditate on your words, God, speak to us boldly and help us to keep your word in our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, today we're reading Matthew chapter 27. Verses 27 through 42. And if you haven't read it, this is a place you pause. And welcome back. Now, today, the title says, The Crucified King. The King, our Jesus, is crucified today. So the governor's soldiers took Jesus into the palace, right? And all the rest of the soldiers gather around them. And then guess what they do? They mock and insult Jesus on the way to the cross. Before going to the cross, Jesus is sacrificed. Jesus is insulted. You know, they're mocking him. What are they doing? What are they doing, Pastor Wes? They, they put a purple robe on him. And that means... It, yeah, they, they mocked him as being a king because purple is the color of royalty. And then they put a crown of thorns were kind of twisted into his head, which actually would have caused him to bleed as those thorns were piercing into his head. Uh, they, they also put a, a stick in his right hand because, you know, every king has a scepter. And so they used that same stick to beat him with that scepter. In addition to that, they spit on him. Can you imagine being spit on? If somebody spit on you, how would you react? And not only did they do that, they put a sign over his head. Now here is, here is the very ironic thing. By putting a sign over his head, it said, this is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Now, the Pharisees didn't like the sign because they, they were saying, no, it should say, this is Jesus who pretended or thought he was the King of the Jews. But they put a sign over and said that this is Jesus, King of the Jews. And Pontius Pilate said, what is written is written. I'm not going to change that. Mm. You know what? Jesus actually was mm. the king of the Jews. Amen. He was the king of all. I was, I was kneeling down as you were talking oh, about how Jesus oh, was. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, these soldiers, they mocked him. They mocked him. So they, just like Pastor West said... They mocked him in a way that Jesus would be ridiculed. You know, they were making fun of him. But Jesus, again, just like Pastor West said, was the king. Right. On the page uh, 13, the next to our passage, I'm going to read this part in the very bottom. But what they did not, what, what they did not realize until later, is that Jesus actually is a king. Yet, this king has humbled himself, unlike any other king. But because Jesus did humble himself and did not act like a usual king, we can have a right relationship with God. What does this mean, Pastor West? He didn't act like other actual kings. Oh, well, other, other kings would have done whatever was in their power to do to get out of the situation right mm. jesus was a true king who had true power mm. as a matter of fact the scripture says elsewhere that he could have called legions of angels mm. to get him out of the situation but he humbled himself mm. and he became obedient unto death now something very very interesting jack that I saw in the, in the passage. And it's on, it's in verse uh, 20, it looks like verse 29, 8, where it says, Then they twisted thorns together to make a crown. They placed it on his head. They put a stick in his right hand. Then they fell on their knees in front of him and made fun of him. Now, this is very interesting. 
Because the Bible tells us in Philippians chapter 2 that every knee mm. will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So when they were bowing and falling on their knees, making fun of Jesus, they did not realize that this is the one that one day, not only you will be bowing in front of him, you will be falling on your knees, and trust me, they will not be making fun mm. of the Lord Jesus Christ when that day Amen. comes. Amen. Amen. Somehow they were. Everything is happening to fulfill the prophecy, right? It's yes. Just, yes. Just like written in the scripture, it is happening. My verse today is. I want everyone to look at verses forty-two again. This is what these people who are making fun of Jesus is saying. They're saying, "Ah ha ha! He saved others." They said. But he cannot save himself. He's the king of Israel. Let him come down now from the cross. Then we will believe in him. Guys, they do not know what they're talking about. Just like Jesus says. Jesus had to die on the cross. And he had to sacrifice. And the amount that he had to sacrifice. The amount of pain that he had to go through. Is something that we cannot even imagine. It's beyond our imaginations. Why? Because every single drop of his blood he shed, every single tear he shed, that was to pay for our sin, right? He had to do so. Aren't we grateful? Aren't we grateful that he humbly followed? He is the true king, one and only king, but he humbly followed the will of God so that we, you and I, can be saved and be God's children again. So let's give praise to God in our daily lives. Let's give him thanks. When we live out today, let's think about the price of that blood. Mm -hmm. Pastor West, would you close us with Sure, that? sure. Father, we just thank you, O oh God, for this passion, this passion time, Father. For Jesus, during the Passion Week, Father, he poured out on God his life that we might have life. Father, I pray right now that we will remember the blood that was shed for us. For in the blood is life. In the blood is forgiveness. In the blood is cleansing. We thank you. We praise you and we give you all glory in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. All right. We'll see you next time. Yeah, bye. Bye. Bless you.